Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. I'm Nicole and today we're going to be making a really beautiful and creamy cream cheese icing or frosting. I really love this recipe because it goes perfectly on my favorite cakes like carrot cake or hummingbird cake and it has a different purpose to a buttercream frosting. This one is my favorite frosting of all time and I'm sharing it with you today. There are only four ingredients that you're gonna need for this beautiful icing. Let me show you what they are. We have some icing sugar, some butter, a little bit of vanilla, and then the main star of the show is our cream cheese. To make sure you have a really smooth and creamy cream cheese icing, the most important thing is to make sure that our cream cheese is soft. And the way to do that is by letting it come to room temperature. I've had mine out of the fridge all morning uh, just for this recipe because I know I was gonna do it this afternoon. So it does need some time to come to room temperature and soften. And I would have to say it's probably the most important thing for this recipe. There are just a few other things that you'll need. And one of those is a large mixing bowl. You'll also need a spatula and some hand beaters. And if you have a mix master or a KitchenAid, that's perfect too. Add your cream cheese to the large bowl and then we're gonna head over and give it a beat. We're going to beat the cream cheese now until it's nice and smooth and creamy. We don't want to over whip the cream cheese. It's really important that we don't do that as well. So we're just gonna do it in about 15 seconds, 15 to 30 seconds of beating. Then we'll scrape it down from the sides of the bowl and then continue until we have that perfect texture. And you wanna beat this on about a medium to high setting. I'll just show you the mixture here is already a really nice consistency. See how smooth it is already? And that means it's time to start adding our butter. I'm gonna start adding in the butter a little bit at a time and then give it a beat and then add a bit more until all the butter's in here and then it'll come together really beautifully and smooth and creamy. Remember to keep scraping down the sides as well as you go. And I find there's always a little bit at the base that kind of gets stuck to the bottom of the bowl. So try and just move that around so that we can get every single bit. As I said before, I'm still only beating in 15 to 30 second increments. No longer, I do not want to over whip this mixture. I want to show you the consistency because it's really important. So over here, it's extremely smooth and creamy. There's no lumps from either the cream cheese or the butter. So it's combined really well. And now it's time to start adding in our icing sugar. Nailed it. And again, I just need to add a little bit of the time, give it a mix, a little bit at a time, give it a mix. If you add all of your icing sugar all at the same time, It'll be like a giant sugar bomb goes off when you start mixing it with your beaters. So that's why we're doing it in smaller increments. 
For this recipe, slow and steady wins the race. Don't forget, give it a scrape. Last one, and you can already start to see how the mixture is becoming really glossy and silky smooth. I think I really need to start wearing an apron. Oh well. Now that our icing sugar is fully combined, it's at time to add our last ingredient, the vanilla. Now you can beat this on a low speed until it goes to the desired color. So it's going to turn from that quite yellow color to a bit more cream and lighter, a bit more white. Check out how beautiful this texture is. That is the perfect cream cheese frosting. Such a simple recipe, only four ingredients, but I guarantee the flavor and the taste of this frosting is second to none. It'll end up being your absolute favorite, just like it is mine. This recipe you can also make ahead of time, which is fantastic. It'll last about two and a half to three weeks in the fridge. I recommend just putting a little label with the date that you made it so that you know the best by date. Thank you so much for joining me in the kitchen today. I hope that you'll use this recipe for your next cake or muffins that need a gorgeous cream cheese icing. Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel, The Bond Baker, for all tips, tricks, and recipes for the home baker. And hit that bell because I've got new, a new video coming out every week. I love, love, love this frosting. Um, it's perfect for, sorry, can we go again? <laughs>